All right, if you get pulled over in Fort Worth, chances are the dash camera will not be the only camera recording your every move and, and every word. Now officers will start having body cameras, too, and Fox 4's Brandon Todd is live in Fort Worth with more on this. Brandon. Right, Steve, the uh, department has already been using 50 of these body cameras over the last year, and they have plans to order a lot more. Fort Worth now becomes the largest department in North Texas using these body cameras, and they're becoming so popular that officers are now asking to wear them. Fort Worth police call this the future of policing. The camera actually mounts directly to the side or mounts to the side of their collar. In one month, 200 Fort Worth patrol officers will be fully wired for video and sound. In three years, 500 will be rolling. The three to four inch lipstick sized camera will now go where the dash cam cannot. A lot of the investigation part of an incident happens away from the police car. We never get a recording of that. The 50 cameras they've been testing for the last year cost $85,000. The additional 145 they just ordered cost $670,000. The money comes from seized funds, like drug money. This is the vantage point from body cameras worn by Richland Hills police as they responded to an open door on an abandoned home. They've had theirs since April and have used them frequently. Here you simply slide that up and now it's recording. Officer Sheena Parsons says the cameras are a good way to collect evidence, cut down on complaints against officers and put an end to questions about what really happened on a call. There's a couple inc incidents where we've uh, actually caught the offense um, on footage right, right in front of the officer's eyes so you know that's invaluable to us. The cameras are becoming more and more popular with departments. Richland Hills says after starting off with four They've recently ordered enough for all their patrol officers to wear. Like the cameras in Richland Hills, Fort Worth's will have to be activated by the officer. And that's where the officer's control of the video ends. The officer has no way to delete that video. They have no way to edit the video. And they don't get to choose which videos they upload or which ones they don't. Uh, that gives a true and accurate representation of the scene at the time. Now, the cameras also have a tactical advantage uh, with the cameras. Each officer will get a Samsung media player that's hooked up to the camera. So what that allows them to do is take the camera and stick it up into a, like a crawl space or even an attic, and then they can see on the monitor what the camera sees. So obviously, Steve, that's a lot safer than sticking their head up there. <laughs> yeah, a lot, and more comfortable, too. Hey, uh, you yeah. talked about the, the essence or getting to the what really happened during a call and now we're coming up on three months since Fort Worth police shot a homeowner in his garage when they went to the wrong home. Remember two rookie officers were responding to an alarm. They were supposed to go to the home across the street. Officers say they identified themselves, told homeowner Jerry Waller who'd come out to investigate to drop his gun. An officer shot him when they said he didn't drop his weapon, but his family has said all along there's no way it happened that way. One of those ca cameras would have answered a lot of questions at, at this scene. It, are they doing this because of this case, Brandon? Well, Steve, it probably would have answered a lot of questions, but no, they're not doing it because of that particular case. Uh, they've been doing it over the last year. Uh, it's one of those things we wanted to ask uh, Fort Worth police today. However, before that news conference, they said they would not be answering any questions on any ongoing cases. However, it makes you wonder if the chief's comments, though, in a news release wasn't specifically referring to that. He said this, uh, quote, every chief of police has a particular use of force incident that strained the public's trust and damaged their professional reputation. He said, he went on to say, this technology has the ability to document exactly what occurred. Steve? So at this point, we truly don't know. Those two rookies might have been wearing one of these cameras. We just don't know, right? Exactly. Okay. We have no idea. Do we know who, who will be getting these in the future? How will they be assigned? Will rookies, will supervisors, will veterans? And how, how can you see at night? Will there be night vision capability? Right. Well, first off, it's a it's a first come first serve basis, and right now they have more volunteers for these cameras than they actually have cameras. As far as uh, night vision, they're not going to have any infrared vision. Uh, the the goal of this, the whole point, is to see exactly what the officer sees. So I'm sure that nighttime video will probably be a little dark. Yeah, Steve, and, and tough to see just what the officers face. Okay, Brandon Todd in Fort Worth. Thank you.